This is Lesson 12 in Module 3, and in this lesson we're going to be solving two-step multiplication problems. We're going to start right off with our problem set. So for these problems, we're going to use the RW, RDW process. So remember that R is for read. So we're going to read the problem, make sure we understand what we know already and what we need to find out. Then we're going to D, draw a model to help us visualize the problem. We've been practicing using tape diagrams for the draw part. Then we're going to finally write both the solution, both the equation to help us get the solution, and then we're going to write the answer to the question in a complete sentence. So let's do number one together. The table shows the cost of party favors. Each party guest receives a bag with one balloon, one lollipop, and one bracelet. What's the total cost for nine guests? This lesson is two-step problems. So that means that we're going to have something we need to figure out first before we can answer the final question. So the first thing we need to know is how much these party favors are going to cost for one guest. So let's do a tape diagram to show that. So one guest is going to get a balloon, which is 26 cents, and a lollipop, which is 14 cents, and a bracelet, which is 33 cents. And we want to know what is the total cost for that one guest. So let's figure that one out. So we have 26 plus 14 plus 33. <coughs> so 6 plus 4 is 10 plus 3 is 13. 1 plus 2 is 3 plus 3 more is 6 plus 1 is 7. So we see that each party guest's favors are going to cost 73 cents. Now we want to know how much it's going to be for nine guests. So we'll do another tape diagram. And again, we're looking for a total. And we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine total guests. And we know each guest is 73 cents. So the easiest way to do this would be to do 73 cents. And we're doing the same thing nine times. So we're going to multiply by nine. And three times nine is 27. Seven times nine is 63, plus two more is 65. So we could say it's 600. And 57 cents, or we could change this into dollars and cents since we know there's t uh, 100 cents and a dollar, so this would be six dollars and 57 cents. So we're going to write the total cost would be 657 cents or $6.57. So this was a two-step problem because we had to figure out this first before we could do the second part and finally answer our question. Let's look at number two. Read the problem to yourself. Find out what you already know, what you need to know. Draw a tape diagram to help you visualize it, then solve for the equation that you write, and then ultimately find out the answer to the question. Okay, this says the Turner family uses 548 liters of water per day. And let's put T here for the Turner family. The Hill family uses three times as much water 
as the Turner family. So we have this three times. That's the Hill family. And then we want to know how much does the Hill family use in one week? So if this is per day, then we're going to have to figure out per week. So the first thing we need to know is how much they totally do per day. How much do they use per day? So this is per day. So to do that, we see that we have 548 liters times three to find out how much the Hill family uses in a day. So eight times three would be 24. Four times three would be 12, plus two more would be 14. And five times three is 15, plus one is 16. So that's how much they would use in a day. But the question asks, what are we going to use? How much are they going to use in a week? So we know there's seven days in a week. So we'll take what they used in a day. And we're going to multiply it by seven for the seven days in a week. So four times seven is 28. Four times seven is 28 plus two more is 30. Six times seven is 42 plus three more is 45. And one times seven is seven plus four is 11. So the, the Hill family uses 11,508 liters in one week. Okay, let's go on to number three. Pause the video and try that one yourself. All right, this says Jaden has 347 marbles. Elvis has four times as many as Jaden. So we have this four times. And Presley has 799 fewer than El Elvis. So it's not quite as much as Elvis, and we know the difference between what Presley has and Elvis has is 799. So the first thing we need to do is figure out how many Elvis has. So we know it's what Jaden has times 4. So 7 times 4 is 28. 4 times 4 is 16, plus 2 is 18. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13. So we now know that Elvis has 1,388 marbles. Now Presley has what Elvis has, minus 799. So let's do the subtraction. We can't do 8 and take away 9, so we have to regroup from the 10s. We take one, one group of 10 and turn it into 10 ones. So now we have 18 ones minus 9 is 9. And again, we can't take 9 tens away from 7 tens, so we need to take 100 and regroup it into 10 tens. So now we have 17 tens. 17 tens take away 9 would be seven, uh, 8. And we can't do 200s, take away 700, so we have to take 
one of the thousands and turn it into ten hundreds. So now we have twelve hundreds. Taking away seven hundreds, we have five hundreds. So Presley has five hundred and eighty nine marbles. Okay, let's look at um, 4A. So this says write an equation that would allow someone to find the value of R. So we see what we have here in the first tape diagram is we have 1,167 three times. So let's find that total. 7 times 3 is 21. 6 times 3 is 18 plus 2 is 20. 1 times 3 is 3 plus 2 is 5. And 1 times 3 is 3. So our total here would be 3,501. And if we want to know R, we would take 3,501 which is the size of our larger rectangle, and we would subtract out 239. So again, we can't subtract one from nine from one. We go to the tens column, we see there's no tens there, so we have to go to the hundreds column. We take 100, and we regroup it as 10 tens, and then we're going to take one group of 10 and regroup it as 10 ones. So we have 11 ones, take away 9 is 2 ones. We have 9 tens, take away 3 tens is 6 tens. We have 4 hundreds, take away 2 hundreds is 2 hundred. And the thousand, 3 thousand stays the same. So we would end up with. 3,262 as the value for R. Now for B, it says write your own word problem to correspond to the tape diagram and solve. Now there's a lots of answers to this one. You can use your imagination here. So pause the video for a minute and think of what you could possibly write as a word problem that matches what we did in A. Here's just one possibility. Patty's sandals weigh 1,167 grams. So that goes with the tape diagram we saw at the, at the top. She bought three pairs. So we saw in the tape diagram we took 167 and we showed it three times. So that would represent her three pairs of sandals. All three pairs of sandals together weigh 239 grams more than her snow boots. What is the weight? of Patty Snow Boots. <coughs> so we see at the top, uh, we showed her three sandals and how much they weigh. And then we said all together, which is the total we got here, her winter boots 
So these would be her winter boots, her snow boots, would be the value of R, is 239 grams less. So we would subtract that out. So the answer would be Patty's snow boots weigh 3,262 grams. So this word problem matches the tape diagram that we drew at the top. There's lots of other possibilities, but this is one that matches. And that's the end of lesson 12.